It's Dead Space Chapter 2. Intensive care unit. Minus the unit. Plus the care. We're off to an awful start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't don't click away quite yet. The level's barely begun. Is it a good one? They're all good ones. Oh. I, I came to a revelation while playing through this chapter. Because the way I normally do it, for people who haven't watched many of my guides... Uh, I play through a level, then load that same level back again, and then play through again, like a third time actually, as I'm recording it. And even the third time through each level on this game, I'm still nervous as hell walking around all the corners, and like jumping when shit pops out at me, and uh, not like comfortable killing all the enemies, because this game is actually kind of fucking hard on the hard difficulty using only one gun. So, yeah. That's probably why you're watching these videos, though, right? right? Right. That's your revelation. That's my my my, my revelation was about the quality of this game, and oh. how I'm like actually getting kind of spooked uh, after three times. After through. three times through, that was my revelation. So you just picked up a what was it called? Kinesis module, I believe. Kinetic module, something like that. Anyway, it basically turns. Uh, your gun into a gravity gun from Half-Life. So you can pick up shit and throw it. Unfortunately, there's not nearly as much fun stuff to throw in this as there was in Half-Life. There's some, like, explosive red barrels. You know, because of the unwritten law of video games, if the barrel explodes, it's called red. So there's some of those, but there, there's even some, like, saw blades on the ground that you can pick up that don't really kill anything. Uh, Saw blades in Half Life 2 were amazing. Oh, yeah. They just cut shit in half. And you'd think with a game like this, where the whole object is to cut off their limbs, that maybe they would throw some saw blades in there. <laughs> but, alas, no. Maybe for Dead Space 2. The deadening. The deadening. Yeah, so you just learned that there's a secondary fire on that gun, which. Or on every gun, actually. When you're holding down left trigger, press right bumper, and on the the plasma cutter, which is the gun, the only gun that I'm going to be using throughout the game, it just turns it sideways, so it's more gangster. <laughs> which is key. Which is absolutely key. You know, because when you're fighting space aliens, you have to look cool. Actually, I feel like it's not gangster, because you don't have to turn your hand sideways. You're still holding your hand the non-gangster way. So it's the lazy man's gangster? It's lazy man gangster. Alright. Which may be better than gangster. I also realized while recording this section that a lot of the enemy spawn points are... They're not spontaneous, but they're locationally based. So you'll see there's like vents and shit all over the level. And depending on where you're standing is where they jump out of. So there's no like safe corner for you to go in because they are gonna jump behind you. Oh, you want to say hi? <laughs> now you're just gonna laugh in the background like a jackass. All right, see ya. <laughs> Our resident uh, car gamer. Mm -hmm. It's making fun of us. Coop shoot, to be exact. Yeah. Heidi ho! Game Luminios. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I kill the first wave of guys upstairs. Move on downstairs, another wave of guys. <clears throat> Don't go into any of the rooms until you kill everybody outside yet, because if you go into one of the rooms, like I said before, the monsters spawn based on where you're standing, so... They spawn in the tiny little closet with you, turning it into a monster closet. Monster closet. To the monster closet. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be one of the songs I use for the intro. Monster mash. We do the monster mash. <laughs> it was, was a graveyard, graveyard smash. smash. <laughs> he did the mash. <laughs> it was the monster mash. Oh God, could this get any cheesier? I don't think songs yes. get any cheesier than that. <laughs> than that. So, 
yeah, you probably figured out by now, strategy is cut off their legs. <laughs> cut off their legs and let them just crawl at you, making it a lot easier to take them down. And when there's like a whole pack of guys running at you, just take out the ones that are still standing up to give yourself a little bit more time to take out the slowly moving monsters. And now go on a scavenger hunt looking for all the extra ammo and health packs that all them. Uh, Necrid? I really should be paying more attention to the story. I think they're called Necrid. Or I guess at this point in the game you don't know what they're called. You're not even sure. Necrophilia. <laughs> no, not necrophilia. Oh. <laughs> Necro. That's for Dead Space 2, the necrophilia <laughs> game. <laughs> Good old M-rated games. Fuck, fuckity, fuck. <laughs> we, we tried to watch our language on the last oh, guy. failed miserably. Oh, it was a shit show. I guess it was drinking... a frack show, too. A frack show. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's still fun to say frack, even, yeah. even though we don't need to anymore. I'm not so sure of that. So now, we discover that there are religious undertones to the game, which is always super creepy. And more video diaries like Bioshock and blood written on the wall. On the wall. Oh, and on the desk, you might notice there's a little blue statue. It's a try thing. I'm drawing a blank on what it's called. Terrence. It's not an obelisk. It's a trilisk. Tribalisk. <laughs> and that will come into play later on in the game. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. 